Welcome back to Brick Math with Dr. D. Today we are going to be talking about multiplication facts. But first, you need a couple things. You need to get yourself some bricks so that you can build along with them. You also might want some paper to draw some models on with some colored markers or just a plain old pencil. Today we're going to talk about multiplication facts and the difference between two different kinds of facts and how commutative property actually is used in multiplication. So first of all, I want to talk about something called a set. Do you know what that vocabulary word means, a set? A set is a group of things that share something in common. And so if I look at this base plate, this would be one set right here because there's no division, it's just one space. And if I put a one by two brick in here, then that is one set of two studs. So now I have a couple models here for you to look at. So these models represent the same product, but the multiplication sentence is different. In this model, this first model, you see I have a divider here. So this means I have two sets, two spaces, and each set has three studs. And I have two different ways that I've built the number three so that you can see that the process of building is not an issue. You can use different kinds of bricks. It's the number of studs we're thinking about. So this is two times three. That's what this picture looks like. This model is two times three. Now let's look at this model. This model is three sets, one, to three because I have three spaces and I've used large bricks to make the division. So this is three sets of two or three times two studs. You'll notice that if I count the studs in either set, I have six studs. So the product or the answer is the same. But if I write this first one, this, this first one, if I write this one, that's going to look like That's going to look like 2 times 3, or 2 sets of 3. The second one, this one, is going to look like 3 times 2, or 3 sets of 2. So why does that matter? Well, it makes a difference if you're thinking about, let's just say cookies. If I have two boxes of cookies with three in each box, I still have six cookies. If I have three boxes of cookies with two in each box, I still have six cookies, but I have them in a different packaging. So it could come into play if you're an engineer or you're working with containment development or any sorts of things where you have to package items. It can also come into play when you're sharing with friends. If I have two friends and each friend's going to get three pieces of candy, that's different than if I have three, can three friends and each one's going to get two pieces of candy. So those are some things to think about. All right, so now let's, let's start to build. We're going to build the problem four times three or four sets of three. So let's go ahead and build that together so you get an idea how to do it. We're going to first make four places on our base plate. So I'm going to do that, and I will hold this up as I go so you can see what four places looks like. So now I have four sets. One, two, three, four. Four sets. And I'm going to make four sets of three. So let's put three in each set. So there's one set of three. Here's two sets of three. Now keep in mind, you could be using one by one bricks. Any way to make three studs, I'm just using one by threes for sake of ease of putting them on the base plate for your visual. So now I have four sets of three. I have three, six, nine, 12. So four times three is equivalent to 12. Now it's your turn. I'd like you to try to build a couple problems for me. So why don't you build four times five. Remember, there's no five brick as we talked about in on our other session. And then after you build four times five, come back and check and see if you built that correctly. Then I'd like you to build five times four. 
and then come back and see if you built that correct. So let's take a few minutes of building time. So, how did you do? Did yours look like mine? And you uh, checked your work? So now it's time to practice. So up here on the board, I put three sets of problems for you to practice with. Over the next little bit, build yourself some models, draw your models if you'd like, and check to see how you did. See if you can tell the difference between two times four and four times two, and in each of those sets, because commutative property means that when I reverse these, the product is still going to be the same, but they mean something different, and we want to make sure we understand that meaning. For more activities like this, we hope you'll go to www.brickmathseries.com to order your books today and your kits. You can order your books from Compass Publishing there on our site, or you can order the books from Amazon or Barnes & Noble online. You cannot order the sets anywhere other than from BrickMathSeries.com. So we hope you'll join us next time for multiplication with larger numbers. Thank you for joining Dr. D for Brick Math today.